What's up guys, in today's video I'll be making a quick guide for the Mad Chainsaw mode in the demo for the Resident Evil 4 Remake. This guide does not involve using the TMP, but rather just the general equipment you come across normally. Now originally the method of unlocking the Mad Chainsaw mode involved relying on the RNG of restarting the main menu over and over until it appeared. Thankfully, the devoted RE players out there have now discovered you can enter a button code while sitting at the main menu screen. Just make sure the main story is highlighted whenever you enter the code. To execute the code on the PS5, you first need to hold down L1 and R1 at the same time. Then press these buttons in this order. Up, left, down, right, square, triangle, circle, X, and X again to advance. Make sure you are holding both L1 and R1 the entire time until the challenge appears. Start off your playthrough by simply navigating as normal to the Hunter's Lodge and into its basement. How far could he have gone? Anyone home? This is not good. Once you reach a point where you'll need to leave, you'll come across three revived Ganados that will block your way up the stairs. In order to get around them, you can do some quick circles while running to dodge your grab attempts. The enemies have issues grabbing you whenever you're not on even ground. So once you reach the stairs, just keep moving and you'll be fine. Or you could always just run straight up into them and use some knife durability to escape. But I prefer keeping my knife durability maxed up for later. When you reach outside of the lodge, start making your way towards the village. Usually I don't grab every single item possible, but feel free to take some more time doing that so you're better prepared for the village fight. At the time you reach these two enemies here by the truck, you can run by them rather easily if you hug the left side. From there, just keep running past the enemy in the cabin and open the gate doors to stop and admire Leon's hair. While you're doing this, the Ganados will return to their original positions. However, if you return to the cabin too fast, the Ganados by the truck can show up and make things far more annoying or even the Ganado inside may be facing the doorway, which will make him far harder to execute unless you're fast. The main reason to return here is to loot some ammo and more importantly the flash grenade. The other riskier way of doing this is by running in at full speed and quickly looting the items before the enemies can damage you. After that, finally head into the village. Now you could sneak around and loot as many items as possible in order to be more ready for the big fight, but it's totally up to you. So personally, I start off by running to the left side in order to grab this green herb. Be sure to watch out for the old woman patrolling between the left and right side. Next you would run over to the right side while hugging the fence as to not get detected just yet.
grab this red herb from over here and then go around the back of the house in order to jump through the window and grab the hand grenade from inside of this barrel. It is possible to jump through this window before the whole village is alerted to your presence. To do this, simply hug the left side of the wall and crash into the window very quickly. Once you have the grenade, you can run through the house towards the middle of the village in which you can then run into this house to trigger the Salvador cutscene. If you are quick, you can also grab the items from the counter before heading upstairs, but in general it's safer to head upstairs and shut down this ladder entrance quickly at the window. Up next, get the second grenade from here and grab the shotgun off of the wall and equip it. Now you could jump through the window on your left right away and wait for Salvador to break through the door, or you could just hang out at the top of the stairs like I am. After you jump through, get ready to lay some shotgun headshots into the chainsaw guy. This part has some RNG to it where he could be the first one through the window, or there could be some Ganados creating a slight traffic jam. Either way, fire as many shots into his head as you possibly can before he climbs through. As soon as he gets through, use your flash grenade on him and run up and melee stab him while he staggered for huge damage. Right after that, equip the grenades and let him have it. Sorry. Next, hop off the roof and lay some headshots into him with your handgun whenever it's safe while leading him to the barn. Once in the barn, time shooting the lantern so that it lights him on fire for that extra damage. Then lead him over to this small room with a window and line up some more headshots. By now, he will either be dead or close to dying. If he is still alive, it's not a huge deal. Just simply kite him around the village to the windows and ladders where you can get safe shots on him without a chainsaw swinging at you. Once Salvador is finally dead, you now either have to survive until the bell rings either by stalling time or killing enough enemies. Once that happens, congratulations, you've completed Mad Chainsaw Mode. As a side note, there are faster ways of killing Salvador, but they either require more precise execution or the use of the TMP. This run of mine wasn't exactly perfect, but it got the job done, and hopefully it helps you in completing this mode too. Lastly, if you feel like you want a new challenge, you could always do what some speedrunners are doing and try to kill Salvador using only your knife.
And that marks the end of this guide. Stay tuned for more Resident Evil 4 Remake content, and I thank you very much for watching. Where's everyone going? Bingo?